Hey, we're here at the Pinehurst Concourse de Elegance 2016. Welcome to Hacker Week. This is what I do for my day job. I've told you guys about it in a few videos that I work as a project manager uh, at a 190 SL restoration company. Behind me here is a car that we have here and it's in the, the judging category, um, post-war European. Come on over, let's take a closer look at uh, what it is I supervise. So this one is a 1956 190 SL Mercedes automobile. They were made from 1955 to 1963. And uh, this one is now fully restored, category one, which is just like it came from the factory. And my job is to oversee everything it takes to restore one of these cars. There's a lot of different phases to it. There's the bodywork, the mechanical, all the little parts that need to be ordered. And we use some outside vendors for some of the component rebuilds. Let's take a look at the engine. It's an inline four 1.9 liter, has dual carburetors. They're Solex carburetors. Um, they are a progressive two barrel carburetor. The secondary is opened by a vacuum diaphragm right here. Uh, we get a reproduction battery from a company that makes these. They look just like the authentic original batteries. There's the data plate for this car. <clears throat> and the early cars have a metal brake fluid reservoir, brake booster, which was uh, a pretty neat item for its day, back when most cars just had a manual brake with no uh, vacuum assist on it whatsoever. <clears throat> All the decals that are on here are uh, reproductions authentic to the way that they came from the factory. And I put those on uh, as the final phase of the build. I also do all the final checkouts, the quality check on the car, take it for a drive, uh, some of the final tuning on the carburetors. Let's take a look at the interior. So the interior is all leather, all redone, everything brand new, done by a upholsterer uh, outside of our company that we send our stuff to. He's been doing this stuff for years, very professional at what he does. Dash is covered, door panels. Seats are very, very comfortable in these cars. You can jump in one of these cars and drive a few hundred miles and feel very comfortable. Right now the top is down as a convertible top. They also came with an optional hard top. The instruments uh, in these are pretty nice for the day. Got a fuel gauge. Over here we have oil pressure and uh, water temperature, tachometer, speedometer. They're just a very elegant automobile compared to, say, the Porsche 356, which was around the same era, which is more of a Spartan, sporty automobile. Now let's take a look in the trunk. So there was an uh, option to get luggage that matched the interior of your car. This is a three-piece set. We have uh, an authentic toolkit in here. That's all original tools that came with the car. There's a jack in there, spare tires in there. The early cars had small tail lights. Uh, later they were a little bit bigger. And the reflectors were down low rather than mounted up here. The license plate lights were mounted here instead of on the bumper overriders. And on this side, there is a lens on each side because in Europe there would be a country plate right there. Hubcaps are painted to match the body color. And of course, when we park them, we make sure that the Mercedes logo is right side up. All of the chrome on the car is done by custom chrome plating in Ohio. They do a uh, process where they put on copper first and then we fit everything to the car and then when it comes back from uh, the body shop and it's all done it goes back to custom chrome and they put a nickel chrome finish on them that is absolutely beautiful it is just some of the most gorgeous chrome I have ever seen it's got a deep deep silver just like mercury it's really really nice and of course the classic Mercedes front barrel star and the SL front end that continues on to this day. So there you have it. There's a little taste of uh, what I do every day. Right now we have about 16 of these projects in the works, so I stay quite busy at my day job. Uh, I'll be back uh, next week with some more motorcycle stuff. So until then.